is going to Morocco and North Africa in general. The other semi-final uh, clash uh, that was between uh, Masri, Egypt, and AS Vita Club and of Angola. That one ended uh, goalless. So that's just half time there. Let's talk about Nigeria. Aimba taking Araja Casablanca. We saw it on the show yesterday. I mean, that was always going to be a very, very mm -hmm. uh, tough game. And uh, But I don't think we talked about a loss. At all. It wasn't <laughs> on the cards. It wasn't on the cards. And it, it, it will make me come to talks, really. Um, when you lose your home leg and you travel, you travel away to sites that are better prepared, sites that you, you hardly get results against, uh, I mean, if you look at Aimba's chances of making it to the final, how slim, it's slim already, but how slim do you think it is? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it gets even, I, th I think, in an African tournament, it gets even slimmer for us uh, as a Nigerian team when we're going to somewhere like North Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the weather, the terrain, and just the environment, you know. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's Tough. looking slim. But, uh, it's, uh, well, it was just one nil they lost, you know. So, uh, I don't put it past our boys to, to, to rally. Scott one replied goals. Uh, it's, uh, it's not impossible. And if you look at their history, on route, <laughs> on route winning the CAF yes. Champions League twice, yes. they've had similar score lines yes. like this yes. that they upturned. Mm -hmm. You know, some led to penalties, they mm -hmm. eventually won. And, but it, I don't know if you saw the game yesterday, but if you look at the quality of the play, the, the, that side that you saw yesterday, talking about their bio defense, mm -hmm. do they look like a team that could go all the way to Morocco and, you know, just uh, get the two goals? Because it's one thing to try to obtain a result. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to have the quality to do so. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's going to be difficult for them, honestly, you know. But um, it's not impossible. Mm. It's not impossible. And that's it. Yeah, that's, that's Interesting. Right. Interesting. So Tokubo yeah. says uh, uh, they have it all to do now. The work definitely caught out. It's not impossible, but highly improbable. So Aimba, wish them all the two, best. Two goals is... Two it's, goals. It's, because they're going to be chasing the yeah, game as yeah, well, too, and exactly. that might leave them exposed and, and, and just uh, when, to soccer punch. Just yes. when Stanley mm. Bingbell lost that penalty, yeah. mm. uh, that was the point. I think everybody like... Because yeah. if, if, if it was 1-1... That one, would have been a lifeline. Exactly. It could have been a lifeline and yeah. say, okay, well, well you could bad. get a draw to play a penalty. Mm. Why not? Or, you know, stretch them, get a two-all, mm. just come on and they did here. But going all the way and scoring, but oh, no. impossible is nothing. So uh, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Let's keep faith. Let's move on. Let's move on and, and talk about. Let's you know come home and, and talk about the most prestigious cup competition uh, right here in Nigeria. It's now known as the ITO Cup. Let's give you uh, results from the quarterfinals. Let's start with the guys. Two matches uh, were played uh, yesterday. A very dramatic one uh, it ended uh, in penalties, and and that's it. Uh, on your screen, you have uh, uh, Casino United. I don't know if I should call it an offset because the way Kwara United started, everybody thought Kwara United was. Nah. Uh, but Casino United uh, did what they had to do. Uh, B4 and his boys, um, you know, had a 3 1 victory over Kwara United. Uh, Enugu Rangers and Akwa United. It was always going to be tough. You had two of the best managers on the land, Ogumbote on one side, Abdul Makaiba on one side, 1 1, then 4 2 uh, on uh, penalties. Those were the two uh, matches played yesterday. I think we should just take immediate reactions from... Okay, let's talk about the women um, quickly before we do that. You have the results from the women quarterfinals. Okay, so that's it. Let me run through it before we quickly go on a break. You have Rivers Angels uh, defeating Sunshine Coins 2-0. You have Inbom Angels clean 1-0 victory over Delta Coins. You have Bayaso Coins. Uh, they had a 2-0 victory over Oshun Babes. Edo Coins had uh, a 1-0 victory over Confluence Queens. For the ladies, all the four matches were played and we know the teams are in the semi-final. So, uh, but for the guys, the game will be played today and uh, won over uh, the weekend. So, we see all of, all of that pans out. Yeah, interesting. Uh, let, let me talk about the the matchup between Quara United and Katsuna United. United. You suggested perhaps that was an upset. Mm. Uh, I said I some, not me. Yeah. I said some. Yeah, I, I don't think so because uh, Quara United, fantastic uh, group of uh, stage campaigns. Mm -hmm. so a lot of people started to believe the hype. Yes, yeah. But Katsuna United, remember, MPFL side, very decent side, decent manager that mm -hmm. knows his onions, been in the game for a while. And would you say you're surprised that no, an MPFL side is defeating a side 
in the lower division in the NNL. Um, Not surprised. For this particular tournament, I, I you know when we saw the matchup between Castina and Para, I'd actually thought Castina was going to win. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Now look at one of the goals there. Fantastic. Well, you know, he's, he's, uh, the, he's, the ITO, he's the ITO Cup. You know, pedigree and form counts for nothing in cup competitions. Yes. I guess that's why a lot of people got carried away mm -hmm. and felt. I mean, both sides, the league has not been on, and Korea United has more, has played more games in recent times. So mm. I guess that's why a lot of people thought uh, it would go their way. But that, that, it turned out to be Castina's day, and they were enjoyed. They're true to the next uh, trek song. Well, when, when it's a knockout awesome. tournament, really, anything can happen, you know. Mm. You know. <laughs> You see what's I, happening in the, in the English side. I mean, you know? it's everywhere. So, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's, you know, I guess that's why people were thinking uh, that way. All right, let's, let's, um, we need to go on a break now. I uh, will come back. We'll be taking post match reactions uh, from the coach of Katsuna United as well as uh, the players uh, that played key roles in that victory over Aquara United. Are you truly inspired by this performance of your team? Yeah, I think uh, today, I don't know what happened to my players. Today was the worst game I ever played since I joined Castle United. But some games like that. But I think I thank them for being tactical, so being disciplined, so I really thank them for that. And uh, a lot of energy, so that's what makes us sustain Cry United. And we work on their uh, lapses, the mistakes, that you can see our three goals is from their defensive blunder. So we get it right, I think I, I give it to them. We have to go back now and work very harder than what we have been doing before to make sure whoever comes our way for semi final, we record another victory to play in the final. Well, um, it's a well deserved victory. We've worked, we've worked hard towards this semi finals. I saw the quarter final match. Right from the very, very first day, we had this ambition that because we were not happy the way the league ended. Our ambition, our intention was before was to pick a continental ticket. Our slot, our, the position we were before the league ended. I didn't mean the league ended, we would have gotten the continental, continental ticket. So what we, all of us who taxed ourselves that at least we should use this uh, LTO Cup to prove to the whole Nigerians that we have, Castilla United have a better team or a good team to present this country. Before we come here, we know it is not an easy match. It's going to be a tough match. But we plan and we thank God that our plan worked out for us. Because we believe that if we work together, we are going to do it. And by the grace of God, we do it. Players of Castina, Castina United are obviously delighted to have advanced uh, into the next round of the ITO Cup. And they're all looking forward to going all the way to the final and perhaps uh, winning that competition all together. There was another match quickly before we move on. Aqua United, uh, yeah, me taking on our Rangers. That was a massive game. Mm -hmm. uh, defending champions. Mm -hmm. um, um, they advanced. Yeah. Tight one, though. One all. One after regulation time. Yeah, and uh, you know, Aqua United are actually out, and the uh, Rangers are st still in it, and um, the defending champions are, have bungled it, they're, so they are out. They ended one wall regulation time and four two uh, via penalties. So they're no longer defending champions. No, you can <laughs> safely <laughs> say now <laughs> they're no longer. Uh, but some will say until someone else wins it. All right, uh, fair enough. But are, are you surprised by that uh, outcome? Oh, okay. Two two very strong sides. Somebody had to win. Yeah, somebody had to win, and as you can see, it went down. To Penalties. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Tight one. Yeah, right. tight game, yeah. So, more matches are we expecting anybody to be in action as well? To, on Sunday. On Sunday, uh, right. Today, uh, there's a game that's going to be played uh, today. It just escapes me now. I think mm. uh, one of the games to be played, the game will be played in, at Aimba Stadium, if there's not going to be Aimba uh, right. playing. But, you know, we'll tell you more about that um, right. uh, later on uh, on the show.